April Ferranda's room is different. Her books are uh, organized by color, not <laughs> by like alphabet and like she's got zombies on the walls and stuff, but it's super fun. This may not be what you expect to see in the room of the Denton ISD Secondary Teacher of the Year, but April is not your usual teacher. If you want to just read a book and take a test, then her English class is not the class for you. But make sure that you um, agree on that. In my teaching experience, I've discovered that kids learn in different ways. So not every book is going to have a multiple choice test over it. They can show me that they understand. They can show me that they're really getting things, comprehending things. Um, and a lot of times they can even take it to a higher level if you give them a, a project that allows them to do it. She always makes uh, creative ways of doing things. Uh, it's not like we just read the book and take a test on it. We always have some sort of like interactive like art project involving it. It's pretty cool, it's like research. This approach wouldn't work for every teacher. It's certainly outside of the box, and sometimes even outside of the classroom. But it works in here because April's students trust her, a trust that starts from day one. I have to make myself vulnerable to them because the English class can be really sensitive at times. They're disclosing a lot of information about themselves. So I spend a good 30 minutes with a PowerPoint and I show them some of my dorkiest pictures, um, some of my baby photos. Um, I show them like my wedding picture, my graduation picture, and I tell them some jokes that they think are funny and some that they might think are not funny. Since she connects with all her students, like she takes time to talk to all of them she makes it or it's okay if you have questions like she'll answer them and stuff she doesn't make you feel bad for not understanding something I feel her personality really just brings out the classroom not only just the assignments because I feel like if another teacher did something similar to her it also just wouldn't be the same it's like her personality as well that personality makes this a destination class for April students but April gets a lot out of what happens in this room too I love and care about my students at a level that um, I'm, I'm passionate about literature, I'm passionate about English, but I'm also passionate about my students. Um, and so every day I walk into my classroom and I'm just ready for the day. I'm ready to teach the material in a way that, you know, maybe they haven't been exposed to it before. And that willingness to be different is why the kids in April's class will never see school the same way again.